YouTubers, today we've got this uh, data duster, K9K, um, K9K666 diesel, uh, it's 1.5. Did the timing built yesterday, coming this morning, going to do refill via vacuum of the coolant system. Um, before I drained out the coolant, the heater was in the hot position, so it gets rid of everything out of the heater matrix as well. Right, I'll show you the setup and take you through the process. Here's my setup. Little valve here. That goes onto the expansion tank. And then when we're ready to draw in, that will go down into the coolant. So what we do is connect an airline up onto here to create the vacuum. There, the airline's connected up. I'll open the valve for that. Still in the vacuum now. That looks destabilised there. So I've cut this valve off. And now what we do, we give it 10 minutes, make sure it holds the vacuum, and then we fill it up. All right, so that's been well, just over 10 minutes, and there's been no movement there, so it's holding its vacuum nicely. What we need to do now, feed pipe in the coolant and then we can open the feed valve That just draws in the coolant. I've got this whole bus in to do in a minute. A little service on it. So you've got to keep an eye on it because the last thing we want is for the end of the feed pipe to start drawing air. So yeah, pretty straightforward job doing the uh, timing belt on this timing belt wall pump tensioner. Um, just got to mess about before you can get to anything with the uh, whole engine mount, malarkey. Almost done. I mean, it's so much quicker than having to do it, bleed it and mess around doing it this way. Um, and you will get a little bit of excess in the expansion tank and you just draw that out. Just about there. I'll wait until the vacuum is on zero. I know it puts extra in the expansion tank, but just while I do it, I'll just draw out what it doesn't need afterwards. Right, that's on zero now. Go to the airline, didn't even need to keep that connected to be honest.
yeah, just start her up and um, let her warm up. Make sure we've got no leaks when I change the water pump. And that's the job. Yeah, so it's a pretty straightforward job. I know I've shown it before, but um, people seem to like these videos. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and please subscribe, like, hit the bell to get notified when the next videos come on. And, yeah, any comments or questions, leave in the box below. Thank you.